Ariel Helwani, post fight at UFC 179 alongside Tony Martin, who just defeated Fabricio Camoic via Kimura. And Tony, congratulations on a big win for you in a very hostile environment. You came out there and they were booing you. Have you ever been in an environment like this before? No, I've never come out and been booed. I've never been uh, the villain before. It seemed like you were relishing it, though. It seemed like even though you were focused, you were kind of enjoying it. Yeah, I was, I was just enjoying getting back in the cage and. You know, I was just trying to be patient, be calm, be as calm as possible, and, and take what was given to me. Were you expecting that? No, absolutely. I knew that I needed to be patient. Coming from my two losses in a row in the UFC octagon, I knew that this was a big fight, and I needed to get back on track. And I just knew I just needed to be calm. My first two fights, I came out very aggressive and started to fade fast, so I knew if I was more patient. And eventually, I saw the takedown. I took it, and then I knew on the ground he was a very high-level black belt. And I knew if I was patient, he would eventually give me something. And when I got into the Kimura, my, uh, my corners were yelling. There was about two and a half minutes left in the fight still. So I was like, you know, I'm going to be patient, make sure that I don't rush anything and let him out. And I knew he was wanting to tap, so I took my time and uh, capitalized. You mentioned the two losses in the UFC. Did you feel like this was do or die for you? No, absolutely. For the UFC, for uh, this run in the UFC, it was definitely do or die. You know, I was going to keep on fighting no matter what. I'm still young in the sport. I've been training for four years only. And I knew that I have a long career ahead of me. You know, I'm 24 years old. And uh, this sport, it seems like everyone's peaking around 30 years old and coming into their prime. And they've been fighting for 10, 15 years. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to be patient and keep growing as a mixed martial artist and uh, keep improving every day and then keep putting wins together. Were you thinking about maybe getting rid of the, the, the submission, letting go of it because it was taking so long for him to tap? And I, I would imagine you were exerting some energy holding on to it. So were you considering that at all? No, I, I'll, I'll never let go of a Kimura. I knew that once I had the Kimura, I knew that eventually I would get it out of it. The thing was, he was very good at getting his hips up high and sitting up into me. And I knew that I needed to be patient. And I knew there was a lot of time, like I said, so I wasn't trying to rush it and then falling off the submission and then being on bottom or something. So I just took my time and capitalized. By the way, did you know that right next door back in 1955, Kimura himself defeated Helio Gracie via Kimura, the last big MMA fight in that stadium, in that historic stadium. And now in the first fight here in the UFC, you win via Kimura. Did you have any idea about this? Well, I knew that uh, that's where the, the name originated from. I didn't know it was right, right next door. Here. I did not know that. That's, that's awesome. It's been a, an honor of mine to come to Brazil and uh, show my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And finally, what happened with the weight yesterday? Uh, I came in pretty heavy. You know, I was about 17 pounds over Thursday night. And uh, we were actually, I never stopped sweating, you know, but it was a time thing where I woke up at 7 a.m. I had to drive an hour to Minotaro's gym in uh, Baja. And then, uh, so we had to be back by 1.30, so 12.30 I had to leave. And by that time, I still had one more pound. And, and I just got lucky he was overweight as well. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the win. Very impressive. Enjoy it. Looking forward to the next one. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it.